right there. That's it, right there. No! Another one. Oh, no! <laughs> no! Dude, it's only your shifter. Are you good? I'm telling you, it's gonna keep happening until it clicks, bro. <laughs> no! Wait, bro, you were literally there. Like, you brought it there. I was like, he's there. And then your foot came off the peg. <laughs> oh, no. Nothing happened, right? You just bent the shifter. That's easy. We just have to go to Cody. Well, and your blinker. Are you good, though? Oh, you have your backpack on, so you're good, dude. <laughs> Is your booty okay? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, I give you props for, like, still pushing to learn, even when you, like, don't have your rails. <laughs> Is your bite is your key on? Yeah. No, your tail light is like <laughs> I think it's finally done. <laughs> you you scraped your stock bike from <laughs> Well I mean that's probably cheap to buy. Well your blinker's fine, dude. It's just your blinker's not gonna work because it's plugged into the tail light, right? Or not? <coughs> yeah, it works. Your blinkers work. It's just, look at it, it's just a little bit scraped up. Your blinker's fine. You'll just have to, the sticky part, like the little sticker, this thing isn't sticky anymore. It peeled off. Oh, no, it does still kind of stick. Oh, it does, okay. No, your blinkers are fine. This is not. <laughs> this is not fine. <laughs> I'm just glad you didn't break anything. Ken, is this good enough to ride it, though? Oh, you can't upshift, huh? Here, let's bend it out. We got to bend it out. All right, ready, set. A little more. I don't know, sit on it and see if it'll shift. Dude, the bike is fine again, what the heck? These groms. So right now you're in first, right? Oh, it's good? Does it, do you think we should bend it out more? Like, is it hitting your engine case or no? Is it good? Well, we can bend it a little bit more. Dude, these Groms can take a beating, bro. Dang! <laughs> oh no, it's bent. Oh, that's why your shifter's hitting, because it's obviously connected to your peg. Yeah, we can't bend that. That's way too strong. We can bend this far enough that's not hitting. That's up to you, though. Like, we literally can. Ready? Say. It's barely hitting right now. Like, pull in your clutch real quick. Barely. I mean, I, I, I can try even a tiny bit more. Ready? Sit. Pull in the clutch real quick. I don't think it's hitting now. Now it's not. No, now you're good. Your peg's bent, but... Hey, now you know it's neither going to be that time is going to be the one that made it click in your head or you might fall one or two more like I did. Remember, I looped mine I don't know how many times. We'll have to go to Cody's before Cali and just have him just bend that. Like take the rear set off and either heat it up and hammer it because that'll be easy. They don't have to weld anything. And then the shifter, well the shifter will be fine actually. It's just got to be twisted down. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, we got two moto vlogs just like that. <laughs> No, dude, you didn't hit your head. It doesn't look like it. Your bag's barely, your bag's not even scuffed up. Your tail light took all of that. Dude, at least I got a screenshot of you at balance point. Like, you, like, seriously, I thought you were holding it there because your leg was still on the peg. You got to balance point before you took your leg off. And then it went to that float zone where it started going back. And then instead of, like, that's when it takes over. When I was learning, it, your mind's like, oh, get scared and it takes the feet off. That's what you did. Because you were there. Your, your forks were, like, level with the road. It was, like, almost there, almost there. And there was, like, level. You floated and then you took your feet off. I was like, oh, you was, like, so close dude these groms are strong i crap now we got to remember this is like what your third third crash fourth they go through a lot just don't feel bad because i've you already know i've crashed mine way too many times i just don't know how you keep getting lucky and like not damaging your bike more than you have like all you ever keep doing is bending stuff and stuff can be bent back my homie certified g just sent his grom <laughs> hey at least you got a screenshot out of that <laughs> Yeah, if you remember that break, because what you wanted, like, you were, like, right here, like, here, and then it just can't, kept going instead of, like, the break saving it. Like, you were there. You were way up there. I don't care what anyone says. Like, crashing helps you learn. Once I accepted that and I accepted that this bike is beat up and it still is beat up, I'm just like, eh, 
I bought it for this dude like because I crashed this I think three or four times before my cages I think three once broke the light and the rear set all together in front of the school my next one I crashed into the tree actually I had cages at that point and the one place that's exposed I broke like what the heck yeah if you can try to get used to like like get it like right here and then just break Break like if you can once you figure that out and put it together you'll you'll realize the brake is a it's strong you already know how strong it is you know how to use it you just the brake it's one thing using it before balance point but once you get to balance point like you did you have to train your brain to not get scared and just the more relaxed and in the zone you can be the better you are because then fear doesn't kick in your legs will stay on the pegs and you'll just be like you you won't forget the brake if you can stay focused instead of you getting scared because I did it like crap like three or four times five times. I notice when I actually just say focus and try to just remember that break, normally you'll hit it. You'll get it, dude. Just don't let your crashes get you down because I've I've crashed like you already know how many times. So, and I've crashed without bars plenty of times too. So I know the feeling of breaking your crap on your bike. I mean, look at I broke my freaking block, bro. Like your stuff costs zero to fix. Just go to Cody. I'm gonna have to pay a hundred like a hundred dollars to fix this thing. But it happens. It just comes with it comes with learning, honestly. I don't care what anybody says, like crashing is like the best way to learn. In my opinion, crashing is the best way to learn as long as you're not getting hurt. As long as you're like nothing major, not breaking bones or anything. You were going slow, top of first almost, right? Like 25, maybe 20. You just kind of went right back on your bootay. Hey, bright side, I was recording. I don't know if you were, but I got it right next to you. And just know like now you'll be a little, you're gonna be a little scared no matter what now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Heck yeah. Right back at it, bro. <laughs> The grind don't stop. <laughs> that was awesome. He feel it, she feel it, we feel it. So round and round go. He feel it, she feel it, we feel it. Here we go. We gon' get up, we gon' get up, we gon' get up. Like another joint to the plane, we shut up. Take it to the island, take the sauce. We don't give a give and take, we can't get it. No more room in the pan. I cook a rhymes in a bigger pot. On the road, what you figure got tricks on my sleeve. You won't believe my story. We do a thicker plot. Words leap off the pages. Hop on stages. We're crazy. Need to be like a cage.